Well, earlier this Friday, gunmen attacked a school in the state, abducting scores of students in the third mass abduction in the past three months. The attackers stormed the government girls' secondary school in Jangebe in the wee hours of the day. The police have confirmed that abducted students are 317. Police say the gunmen stomped the school in military uniform and motorcycles with heavy arms, killed one police and took the students away. They were taken to a bush neighbor, uh, a neighboring Sakoto state. In the past year, school children have become the hottest kidnapping targets in the country, especially in the northern part, raising concerns over the safety of educational institutions across the nation. Gavda Belo Matawale has now ordered the immediate closure of all boarding schools in Zamfara. Until further notice. It's an established fact that students were kidnapped and we're on the trail of the kidnappers. That's why you find us in the fringes of the forest here. It's part of our locational efforts and it's part of our cordoning, cordoning efforts okay. in order to retrace the, um, to trace the kidnappers and retrieve the students. And just as over 300 female students were kidnapped, some notorious bandits in Zamfara are laying down arms to embrace peace. And this is the third time Governor Belo Matawale is receiving repentant bandits in one week. The success is recorded, according to the authorities, is a result of the peace initiative of the present administration to read Zamfara state of banditry, kidnapping and other criminal activities. Speaking at the brief ceremony at the government house, Gusso, the State Commissioner for Security Affairs, accused some politicians of frustrating the peace accord with bandits. The State Commissioner of Police there says the sophisticated weapons surrendered by the repentant bandits is clear indication that Zafara is working towards restoring peace. We'd like to warn that this next story contains flash photography and viewer discretion is advised. Well, we'll bring you details of that story subsequently, but quickly let's um, turn our attention to the Commissioner of Police in Zamfara, Abutu Yaro, who joins us live via phone for more on this development. Uh, Mr. Yaro, talk to us about how 317 students were whisked away on motorcycles. Uh, were there or was there any form of security in place in that particular area in the early hours of today? There was, there was, there was, and uh, in your earlier report, you've already um, explained that aspect. Uh, so it's a fact that uh, you've already highlighted. Well, I just did not, cannot grab speed, and exactly that's why I'm asking that question. If you can tell us more about the form of security that is why infrastructure. We're Exactly. We're I'm not asking about the investigation, Commissioner of Police. I'm talking about the security infrastructure in place before that attack. Well, um, there was um, a security infrastructure you have already highlighted. And uh, we are trying to understand what went wrong and how it went wrong. And uh, certainly, as the good days goes by, the picture will become clearer and the understanding of everybody will be more consolidated. For the third time this week, we are seeing the Zafara state government, uh, governor rather, receiving repentant bandits. Um, given this new attack, uh, a situation where perhaps we're having the highest number of abducted students in five or six years, more than the numbers recorded in Chibok, in Dapchi, and Kankara, as well as others. How effective would you say this negotiation has really been? No comment on that. What then is your men doing as we speak to get the 317 students back to safety? We are doing a lot, and I'm even personally in the trenches now as I speak. As soon as the results or the outcome become better understood, we'll get you posted. 
Talk to us now very quickly about um, the local intelligence you're gathering, um, the kind of cooperation you're getting from residents, and also if indeed confidence has been reposed in people of this particular community. Excuse me? I'm talking about the kind of local intelligence you're gathering and how much confidence that the people in this particular community where the abduction have, uh, has taken place, the, how much confidence they still have in um, your infrastructure, uh, your security infrastructure. It, it, uh, the, it's, it's, it's unrealistic for, for me or for somebody to tell you the level of confidence of other people. There is no quantifiable measures of assessing confidence of people. Do you know of any quantifiable measures to be adopted in measuring confidence of people? You can tell me that precisely on the kind of cooperation you're getting with locals, because we understand that intelligence is key to getting um, the students back. Intelligence is key, really, and it's constant. Are you getting the desired support from people in that area? Sufficiently. Absolutely, exactly what I was talking about. Commissioner of Police, Zamfara State, thank you so much for talking to us tonight on TVC News at 7. My pleasure.